This video is an introduction to STEM programming with Python 3, Chapter 2, Binary Addition and Subtraction, and I'm James M. Renault, Ph.D. from Shawnee State University. In this video, we will cover how to add two binary numbers. We'll talk about how to calculate the two's complement of a binary number, which is negation. And then we will subtract two's comp well, we'll subtract two binary numbers or one from another by adding the two's complement of the one number from the other. So adding two binary numbers is just like what we do with decimal numbers, except remembering that we only have the number 0 and 1 to work with in each column. So we align our integers to the right, like we do in, in decimal, and we then work from right to left, adding down and then carrying any overflow, any number greater than 1 in a column and putting it in the next column. Remember that 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, which is 1 plus 1 is 2, but 1, 0 is how we write the number 2 in binary. 1 plus 1 plus 1 would be 3, 1, 1 in binary, and 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 would be 1, 0, 0, which would be 4 in decimal, but it's 1, 0, 0 in binary. So when we're adding columns, it gets a little, you could get confused if you, 1 plus 1 is 2, but remember, we're dealing in binary, so 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. Here you can see I'm adding two binary numbers. I'm adding the number 101, 01101 to plus 11101. You can see I start, first thing, I start the very first one over here. You can see I start with the rightmost pair, 1 and 1, and 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So I put the 0 down and carry the 1. Now I have 1, 0, 0. Well, 1 plus 0 plus 0 would be 1. So I write the 1 down, and then I go to the third column. In the third column, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. I write the 0 down, carry the 1. I then go to the next column, and I get 1 plus 1 plus 1. Well, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. So I take the 1 down, and I bring the 1 over to carry. And then I do it again. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 1, 0. Put the 0, carry the 1, keep coming over. And I now add the 1 and the 0 or the 1 and the 1, to get a 0, carry a 1, add the 1 and the 0, 1, and then I just bring the 1 down because I don't have anything to add to it. There's nothing on the bottom or carried over to the top. So the result would be 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 of adding those two binary numbers. It works just like it does in decimal, but dealing with all the ones and zeros and ones and zeros, it, it can get confusing. So do it nice and slow and talk yourself through it. It is possible to subtract two binary numbers by doing the whole borrow and, and, and reverse carry kind of thing that you do with, with decimal numbers. But it, trust me, it gets really confusing really quickly. There's an interesting thing with binary numbers called the twos complement, and it's basically like negating or creating a negative number. Um, and in the computer's brain, in the computer's memory, negative numbers are stored as twos complements. So what I'm going to talk about in the next couple slides is how to convert a positive binary number into a twos complement binary number, which is a negative binary number. So what you do, stop and think about an 8-bit number, a number with 8 ones and zeros. You've got 8 possible digits. It can be between 0 and 255 unsigned. It can contain up to 256 different values from 0 to 255, or it can contain a negative 128 to positive 127 signed, which is the same 256 different values. To calculate a 2's complement, 
what we do is we pad on the left with zeros until it's the length specified. So whenever you're creating a binary negative number, you have to tell me how long it's going to be stored. You'll see in a minute why. For instance, an 8-bit number, you'll pad zeros out until it's 8 digits long. Then we subtract 1 from it. So just subtract 1. And you may have to do some carries to be able to subtract 1 from the number, but it's, it's not going to be miserably difficult just to subtract 1 from the number. And then we flip all of the 1s to zeros and the zeros to 1s. You're thinking, that's how we write a negative number? It is in binary, and you'll see that in the next slide. So here on this slide, I have five binary numbers, and I would like to calculate the 8-bit negative or the 8-bit twos complement. Let's look at the first column on the uh, over here. The first column has the number 101101. Well, we have to pad it out to eight digits, so... It's only six digits long, so I put two extra digits, two extra zeros on the front. Just like with a decimal number, you can put an extra zero on the left and it doesn't matter. We then subtract one, so you can see that 0010-1101 becomes 0010-1100, and we flip the bits. Every zero becomes a one, and every one becomes a zero. So the negative number of 101101 is 1101011. Let's take the negative number of uh, 1011, which is what, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? Because uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is, is 11. So the number negative 11 is represented in the computer's memory by. This number, well, I can't get my hand over there, but it's right there in the second column. So we pad it out to eight digits. We then subtract one, making 11, 10. And then we flip all the bits, and we now have 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, which is negative 11. Um, one, for instance, the number one, we pad it out, making it uh, seven zeros and a one. We subtract one, making it all zero. So a negative one is represented by eight ones, or however long the, the width of your, of your binary number is. The fourth column, you can see that the number, well, one, 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 one is a 127. So 127, we then pad it out to zero in front. We subtract 1, taking it to 126, and we then flip its bits. And that becomes a negative 127 um, with 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And there's one more example here of doing 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and coming up with negative 12. And you can see that it and negative 11 are, are very similar to each other because, well, they're really close. That's uh, calculating an 8-bit twos complement. A 16-bit twos complement would be exactly the same, except we would pad it out to 16 digits, binary digits. A 32-bit twos complement, we just pad out to uh, 32 binary digits. We can use twos complements to subtract two numbers. For instance, given the problem of menu in minus subtrahend equals difference, or A minus B equals something, calculate the twos complement of the subtrahend, or B in the case of A minus B equals something. Add the subtrahend, the twos complement of B to A, and when we do that, there'll be an extra carry bit at the ninth digit. It's just a, a part of binary subtraction using two's complement. And just ignore that last bit that you get beyond the size of your number. So if you're dealing with two 8-bit numbers, just ignore that last, <coughs> excuse me, just ignore that last bit, the ninth bit. Or if you're doing two 16-bit numbers, ignore the 17th bit. You'll see this in the next slide. So let's subtract 10, 
zero one zero zero from zero one one zero. Now, just looking at that, you should be able to go. Well, that the answer would be zero zero one zero, wouldn't it? You can just kind of do this one in your head. But let's do a four bit two's complement and do it the long the long way, just as an example of adding a two's complement number to perform subtraction. So I pat out the second number, the subtrahend, out to 0, 1, 0, 0, and then subtract 1. Now that would be 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, which would be 1, 1. You've got to do some carry, but it's you're only doing one subtracting of 1, so that's not too miserable. And then we flip the bits. So negative 4 is 1, 1, 0, 0 as a 2's complement number. Now, let's add 1, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0, 0, or and 0, 1, 1, 0 in our, in our addition problem that, over there. Um, so we add the two numbers, 0 plus 0 is 0. There's no carry. 1 plus 0 is 1. There's no carry. 1 plus 1 is... 1, 0, write the 0 down, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. But we ignore that last carry because we're dealing with four-digit uh, four uh, binary numbers in this example. And so, by ignoring the last carry, the answer is 0, 0, 1, 0, what we expected to This ends this video presentation. Remember, it's copyright 2019 by James M. Renault, Ph.D. All rights are reserved. You can contact me at jrenault at shawnee.edu if you have any questions. Remember also, this work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share alike 4.0 international license. And I'd like to say thank you for uh, making it through another one.